Dozens of close calls at a dangerous intersection have left hundreds of moms fearing for the worst each and every day. Now they're taking their message to social media in hopes that others will join their fight for change. 7 Action News reporter Tara Edwards shows us how the mothers are taking action. Don't underestimate the power of a mom, or even better, how about 1,200? There are 1,200 of us on this Facebook page. We should be able to, to do something about it. And it snowballed from there. The group of Heartland mothers were fed up with a dangerous intersection near US 23 and M59. The women tell us the section of road was built when there was a boom in business years ago. And then when the economy kind of tanked, uh, everything came to a st uh, complete standstill. So now we have roads for what never came. They say there are several problems here, confusing drivers into making illegal U-turns, like the one you see here, and cutting off other cars. It's a lot of people getting off here to stop for fast food, and they want to get back on the highway, and they have no idea where they go. Hundreds of comments quickly lit up the group's Heartland's mom's Facebook page. Countless stories of close calls at the intersection hoping to prevent accidents and worried about young, elderly, and all drivers, the moms decided to take action and spoke at their township hall meeting. MDOT suggested that they redo a traffic study. And while this is just the beginning, it's a start. And it could take years to find a permanent resolution. But the Heartland moms have learned the power of their voice and the power of their page. It feels great to actually be making a change for the better in this area. It, even if it's a small change, it's still... It's going to do a lot of good. Don't be afraid to raise your hand and and speak your mind, especially as moms. And the mothers say that they're pushing for more patrols in the area, and that one thing the township suggested was that they form a civilian task force to watch the area. But as for long term, we'll have to wait and see what happens. But the mothers say they will not be backing down. In Heartland, Tara Edwards, Seven Action News. Thank